USA Today Sports came out with a poll ranking quarterbacks 1 through 32. Here are the top five. Number one, Aaron Rodgers. Two, Brady. Three, Drew Brees. Four, Peyton Manning. And rounding out the top five, Andrew Luck. A-Rod, ahead of Brady. How about them apples? Stephen A. Smith, did they get it right? <sighs> Well, of course they did. Uh -huh. uh, it depends on the it, it depends on the category. It depends on the category. <clears throat> if you're talking about accomplishments, obviously not. Tom Brady's a four-time Super Bowl champion. Mm -hmm. That is not to be questioned. His greatness is not to be questioned. Uh, his Hall of Fame status is not to be questioned. And so, because of that, you would put Brady ahead of Rodgers. But I think when USA Today uh, uh, Sports ranked these mm -hmm. NFL quarterbacks, they were talking about skill. They were talking about you know whether it's the combination arm strength your, your your motor skills and your ability to be mobile and move and you know throwing on the run throwing in the pocket etc etc uh, there's just no question that Tom Brady is head and shoulders above everybody in the game of football this brother's a bad man I mean it's just that simple there's nothing to debate there's nothing to talk about uh, but his accomplishments football's a team game uh, whether it's the defense whether it's the coaching whether it's the absence of a running game uh, whatever the case may be and Tom Tom Brady hasn't, I'm sorry, Aaron Rodgers has always been flawless himself. I thought he could have been a little better in the NFC Championship game against Seattle. I thought there were times he could have been a little bit better in the past. Uh, but he does have a Super Bowl championship on his resume along with a Super Bowl MVP. He is big time. Nobody throws a better pass than him, okay, on the run or standing in the pocket. He's just a bad man. And I don't think skill-wise, I think I don't think that, that Brady uh, usurps him. I think Brady is great. But I think skill-wise, Aaron Rodgers is greater, and I think that's why he is number one on this list, as well as he should be. Is this like we're talking about a pass, punt, and kick competition? Is that <laughs> If that's what we're doing, you know what? I might give Aaron Rodgers a little bit of an edge. He could probably throw it farther than Tom Brady could throw it. But I'm not even sure about that. But mm. i, I got to ask you, hold your feet to the fire. Is Aaron Rodgers a better passer than Tom Brady is? Just a better passer. Yes. He is yes. not. That's laughable yes, he to is. me. Yeah, that, that's it, laughable to remember, you. Remember, it that's has to get to caught. You. It has to get caught by the, the, the receiver has to actually catch it and pull it into his body. It has to be a catch, right? I would mm. much rather Are you catch sure? Passes. Are you sure you want to go that route? Are you sure you want to go that route, Mr. Tony Romo? Are you sure you want to do that? It, it, this it isn't about Tony catch. Romo. No, this it about wasn't. Tom Brady. I'm just saying, be careful. Just be careful what you say now. Be careful what you yes. say. By the I way. Mean, if you put it there, you got to catch it. Thank you for bringing that up because Tom Brady, I'm sorry, Tony Romo had a better regular season last year than Aaron Rodgers so, did. But, and he did against Tom Brady. In the, Tom Brady's what? In the end, if we're actually ranking quarterbacks... Does performance under playoff pressure count in this formula? Does that count? Yeah. Are we just doing yeah. pass, punt, and kick? I, I don't know. Are we doing 40-yard dash? I believe Eric can win the 40-yard dash over Tom Brady. I don't think it would even be close. Okay, so this forces me. This forced me, Molly. I'm, I'm not piling on here. But now I have to dredge up this stat that since Aaron Rodgers actually won a Super Bowl, which seems like eons ago, I can't even remember when it was. Aaron Rodgers is two and four in the playoffs since he won a Super Bowl. And by the way, right. just for the record, speaking of Tony Romo and company, mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers was very lucky he didn't fall to one and five, or at least one and four at that point in the playoffs because, I'm going to say it one more time, that was a catch. You know it and I know that was a catch. And Aaron Rodgers was in grave danger of losing a home playoff game to my Dallas Cowboys in the round before he went to Seattle and stunk it up against the Seattle Seahawks. I, I'm not exaggerating. He stunk it up. He completed 19 of 34, a mere 56% of his passes for 178 total yards. That's a QBR of a mere 51. Against the Legion of Boom. Time out. Let me finish. Let me finish. In the second half against that Legion of Boom, Green Bay got outscored 28 to 6 because they had four punts and two field goals in their six drives. And in that second half, the great Aaron Rodgers, ranked number one by USA Today today as an NFL quarterback, went 7 of 13 for 63 total yards, zero interceptions, zero touchdowns. 
Boy, that's a pretty tame, lame second half by the great Aaron Rodgers. Now, let's fast forward to the Super Bowl. And this guy named Tom Brady won yet another ring, his fourth, if memory serves, by going 37 of 50, that's 74% completions, for 328 yards, four touchdowns, and a mere two interceptions. But beyond that, in the second half alone against the Legion of Boom, the same Seattle that Aaron Rodgers had just struggled so mightily against. Second half, Tom Brady went 17 of 23 for 151 and two touchdowns. And in the fourth quarter, New England won that quarter 14 to nothing thanks to the great Tom Brady with a little help from Julian Edelman. Stephen A. Smith, Seattle, Seattle. I, I get it. Again, Green Bay was at Seattle, but this is Aaron Rodgers we're talking about. And he stunk it up while Tom Brady chewed up the Legion of Boom. I, I think case closed may, right may, there. May, may, These may, are two may, may big games. This is an NFC may, Championship may, may, Super Bowl. May, may I comment? May I comment? Because I, I don't you, know. you, you have any comments you're, to you're, comment. You're, you're, you're duplicitous ways really annoy I, me sometimes. I let's think keep, those are let's the facts. Let's keep this in mind. No, you're trying to be slick. As usual, as usual, you, lift, you, you leave off some things. Number one, Super Bowl time. Cam Chancellor, MCL injury, Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, all injured, number one. Mm. Number two, did number they two. Play? I yeah, know they it's played. Hard. Yes, they did. Hold yeah. on, stay with me. I recall you making similar arguments, right? But you were a bit more timid, Skip, when Tom Brady had stuck up the joint in the previous year's uh, AFC Championship game against the Denver Broncos. You were very disappointed in his performance. Number three, I love how you have very little recollection of Aaron Rodgers' Super Bowl title, which was just four years earlier at the time, because at your time? memory is just, uh, because your memory, well, it's longer now, months have passed, but your memory was just fogged, and oh my Lord, you were just a bit distracted. I'm not even sure what happened. But it was so long but ago. When, yeah, but you definitely remember Tom Brady, whose last Super Bowl was 2004. So you remember 2004, but you didn't remember 2010. You're so full of it, please. I should just stop drinking the Diet Mountain Dew. Grab some tea. It's healthier for the brain. Let me tell you something, Skip Bayless. When you look at Aaron Rodgers, the bottom line is he's a bad man, bro. He, he I keep just hearing doesn't that, have but I never see it. When listen, it's time, listen, I don't see it. Me, Two me, and four why did since McCarthy, the Super Bowl? Why did, why did McCarthy, why did McCarthy, you know, cut the dude that, that bobbled the, that, that bobbled the onside kick? Why did he fire he the special escape, teams though. coach? Why did he restructure his whole coaching staff? Why did he go away from calling plays and assign it's that responsibility to somebody fault. else? And their the fault. point and is, it's a whole it's bunch of people. It's a whole bunch of people, Skip. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of people. Yeah. In the end, what happened is, is that Tom Brady has been fortunate enough to have Bill Belichick with them, oh. okay? Whereas oh. Aaron Rodgers, even okay. though I respect the heck out of McCarthy, mm -hmm. the yeah. bottom line is Aaron Rodgers isn't in the McCarthy's same situation. Fault. Yeah, I get uh, it. Some of it is. You know what? Some of it is. You're right. Tom Brady did stink it up at Peyton Manning a year before, but he yep. righted the wrong. He came no, no, through. I know that. Hey, he did. Hey, he this, did. But this that, was I'm saying you great, didn't bring that up. Yeah, but it was as great a second half quarterback performance as I have ever great. seen in a Super Bowl. It, it was, was great. It was sensational against the Legion of Boom, who I don't know how they did it, but they limped through that game against Aaron Rodgers. He should have just picked them to pieces because they were already beat up. They're already limping around. Richard Sherman's already got some issues going on physically. Cam's already got his knee going on. But in the no. second half, seven, seven of thirteen for Aaron Rodgers. Really, four punts okay. and two field goals in like the second said, half. Is that like all said, you got? You Aaron? have a very, you have a very selective memory because let me tell you something. This when is, Tom Brady messes up like that, you this don't say. Just I don't hear. I don't hear from. I don't hear from you then. I don't hear from hey, you then. So what my have point you is, done is you for me lately, Aaron Rodgers. Well, what, and then well, what have you done well, for me the year before? And the year before? And the year before? What I said when I said that it's been ten years since Tom Brady's won a Super Bowl, you ignored me. Why can't I ignore you when it's been five I think years it's since been Aaron about Rodgers ten years won since Aaron Rodgers won a Super no, Bowl? No, it's been five. It's oh, been five. five. Okay. It's been five. Well, it seems like ten. Five. And since that you know, 
five-year period started. Mm -hmm. Wait. He's lost four playoff games and nearly lost a fifth one to my Dallas Cowboys? Team. Really? You got to have a team. Oh. You got to have a oh. team. So, so wait. These rankings are just about the regular season, and they're just rankings in a vacuum. Who's got and the strong arm and, and who's it's faster? about talent. I, and it's about what? talent because I'm telling you right now, I want the only only point you have on me about Brady over over Aaron Rodgers is performance. Brady's leadership. Brady's leadership cannot be dismissed. And I think that he has an edge over Aaron Rodgers in that department in terms of galvanizing the troops around him. In terms of individual ability, please, I'm taking Aaron Rodgers all day, every day. Okay. All day, every Bottom day. Bottom line. Absolutely. Bottom line. Stephen A. Smith. If it's the fourth quarter of a tie game in the Super Bowl, do you want Aaron Rodgers at quarterback or Tom Brady yes, quarterback in your I team? I want Aaron Rodgers. You do I not. want Aaron Rodgers. That's a I lie. Want Aaron I want a lie <laughs> detector yes, test. Oh, yes, you I do. do. Oh, yes, you I do. You do not. Aaron Rodgers a bad you man. You know it. And I, Aaron, yes, oh, I do. I, and listen, Aaron yeah. Rodgers will go yeah, down you know as what? better than Brett Favre. Aaron Rodgers, talent-wise, is better than Tom Brady right now. Aaron Rodgers, talent-wise, is the best talent doesn't win. In the world. But you need a team. Tom Brady you wins, not talent. Oh, because he's got a team. You know what? When it comes time, when it's playoff time, for the last five years, Aaron Rodgers hasn't been a bad man. He's just been a bad man. As in, he's just been bad. By his standards, Whatever. he's just been Whatever. a bad man. You know what I'm saying? As in, you know, awful I mean, bad. I mean, listen, listen, yeah. they scared. Hey, Skip Bay, hey, Skip Bay. Hey, I mean, I, I, Tom Brady wants somebody to pay for his dinner. You want to do that? You want to be the waiter? You want to sit mm -hmm. up there and, you know, and, and, and make his travel arrangements be his, be his travel agent? Mm -hmm. What do you want to do for What else do you want to do for Tom Brady? You've done everything else. Okay, everything else you've done for Tom Brady. He he couldn't do any wrong when the man couldn't go ten went, went ten years without winning the Super Bowl. I mean, if he passed yeah. gas to you, it was perfume. <laughs> oh, that was unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Well, that, the truth. That, that wasn't it's original. Ridiculous he's, he's only used that line. 17,000 times. That's, that's one of his on favorite one liners. <laughs> yes, yes. Listen, I could listen hey. to you guys dissect this all day. Hey, uh, in, in that period what? during which Tom Brady <laughs> didn't win a Super Bowl, I, I don't have it in front of me, but he played in like six oh. AFC championship games, oh. and he actually got to the Super Bowl uh, uh, several times that Aaron Rodgers has and Aaron lost Rogers, twice. Wait. Yeah. And lost twice. Yeah, thanks to the lucky Eli Manning. And what did you say? Lucky, 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 lucky. Close your eyes and throw at Eli Manning. Hey, hey, That's hey, pure luck. Hey. Hey, in 2007, when he was told that the Giants could hold him to 17 points, he laughed at them. Laughed and said, for 17 points, that's all we're going to score? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what happened? He and was held to 14. You know what happened? Oh, please. You know, please. here's what did happen. I want to hear that. With two minutes what? to go, Tom Brady does what Tom Brady always does. So what? Tom Brady takes him right down points. and hits Randy Moss for the touchdown oh, to put them ahead. Oh, stop it. It took stop an it. incredible escape points. and a pass and a prayer from Eli Manning that stuck in David points. Tyree's face mask. 14 it points. stuck in his face mask. Number he was one the luckiest offense player in, the NFL. in Super Bowl history. Number one passing attack. Yeah. 14 oh, points please. in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Please, straight hand and the boys shut him down. Yeah, they did. Adam they Tad did a great job. Like the late, great Thanks Gregory Hines. God rest his soul. That's what Here we go, tap down. Dancing. Please. You know and Here I know go. you would take Tom Brady in the clutch over Aaron Rodgers. No, never. Yes, you would. Aaron Rodgers is the best. That's He's a, a bad lie. man. A He's a it's bad a man. No, I'm telling you. It. Sorry. You guys no, can't whatever. see yourselves, but your facial expressions? Priceless. When we return, we have another special guest joining the desk. He's the head man of the LSU Football Tigers. The Mad Hatter, Les Miles, is here. We'll talk about expectations in Baton Rouge coming up next. Here we go. We're taking here it up a little bit.